All right, I am recording again. This is day two. I'm attempting to uh, do something like this. This is something I'm working on right now. <clears throat> it's a painting of Victor Cruz. I hope I'm recording. Am I recording? Yeah, okay. There's no video today, so I apologize. You're not going to be able to see my gorgeous face. And also, I'm terribly congested. Um, I don't know why I, I share that with you. So if I sound uh, a little less sexy today than, than normal, that's why. Or maybe it's more sexy. I don't know. Let's let's do some pain and stuff. Let's also keep an eye on how, how long I'm recording. You know, I'm just going to keep recording this, and I'll, uh, I'll chop it up into different pieces later. Uh, yeah, so today I'm actually going to do some painting instead of just pointing at things and talking. So let's uh, open up some reference I'm working with, and I'm going to attempt to paint and speak at the same time, and we'll see what happens with that. Blech. As you can see, I'm working, <coughs> excuse me, in uh, grayscale. If you saw the last video I did, I, I explained why I do that. Um, and the reason is uh, to to hammer in the, the values, to get down the, the, I can't breathe, to get down the lights and darks before I worry about the colors. Um, this piece in particular, uh, <clears throat> I'm using some some pretty tight photo reference, so it's it's a big and very nice change of pace. Why did my music stop? Oh, I paused it. Um, it's nice to have real reference to work from. Oh, Robert Glasper. Just starting on my Pandora is my new best friend in the whole wide world, Robert Glasper. Uh, incredibly talented jazz pianist. And, uh, this song is off his last album, Black Radio. And there you go, Rob. Free plug for you. Let's turn it down, though, because we need to hear me. I'm more important. Uh, where, where's my stuff? Okay, let's, let's just... I'm going to focus on doing some painting here. I'm going to start putting in some tones on this jersey of my, my buddy Victor Cruz here. And, uh, oh, so here was my, this loose sketch earlier that I did. And, uh, now I'm moving forward with it. Some progress I had. And I'm going to go start to put in some other tones. That's, uh, sometimes, like, if I'm trying to, to really nail a likeness, uh, you know, I usually have my reference on my left monitor. Where is it? Here can't see it. But sometimes for like a face, for example, or a specific detail I really want to nail, I'll, you know, cut out a little piece and bring it into the my workspace just so it's, it's easier to have them side by side and see what I'm doing. Um, really hope I'm recording. Am I recording? Yes. I'm using different software today. I'm still figuring this out. But uh, it seems like the performance is pretty good which is a nice change of pace from yesterday when I was panicking about crashing every day, or every every second. But hands up, I think my mom is coming home soon. So those of you who were uh, treated to the unexpected cameo yesterday when she walked in while I was recording, there's potential for another uh, little episode like that. Right, let's do some painting. Terrible at multitasking. Get in some lights and darks. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this composition yet. I kind of like, uh, sort of doing stuff in this poster size, you know, old tiny movie poster dimensions. I don't really know why. I think it looks kind of cool, and that way, if you know, I do it consistently, 
you know, gives my stuff kind of like a uniform look, which is neat. I think that's neat. Oh, Victor. You beast. Deal with it later. Fingers, peace sign. <clears throat> um, the main thing I want to do with this piece is, uh, where's the original? Bring it over. To the right monitor, Michael. Here. This guy here. This is the main reference I'm gonna use, but I want to I wanna add whoa, whoa. Uh some unique lighting. See how I, I chose this picture because he's kinda got dual lighting. You can see if you look at his face, he's got a strong light on this side, strong light on this side. Excuse me. So what I want to do in the end is I want to use that lighting, but I'm gonna make this side like a strong red light, and this side a strong blue light, kind of play off the whole New York Giants color motif. And I think that'll be neat. Don't you? I think so. Oh, so that last song, like I was mentioning, Robert Glasper, I just met him for the first time yesterday. Uh, I had made a painting of him a bunch of months ago and uh, with my newfound love Twitter. I posted the image and he saw it and proceeded to tell me just how incredibly, amazingly talented I am. So we set up a meet so I could meet him and give him the painting. And he's a super, super awesome dude. And I hope to do work with him in the future. So Rob, if you're watching this by any chance, don't forget I want to do the cover album, the uh, cover artwork for Black Radio Volume 2. Don't forget! What am I doing? I really need to get better at multitasking. It's very difficult for me to be this incredibly witting and charming and charming and entertaining while being effective with my painting. Hard to be amazing at everything. What can I say? <clears throat> Uh, see how <clears throat> doing this with a hand, this dark spot over here, that's not being hit by the lighting I was talking about. You got the two strong lights, so it's gonna highlight this part of the arm and this part of the arm, but you're gonna have a shadow over here. Oh, dog is barking. Mama Meth is home, I believe. She's probably gonna yell at me about something. Michael, I, I asked you to walk the dog! You didn't walk the dog. That's the only thing I ask you to do. That's a fair complaint. I didn't walk him today because I'm not feeling well and I'm trying to recover. It's very cold outside. And I'm trying to recuperate. And really, that's the, I think that's the most important thing, if I'm being honest with you. And uh, it's important to me to be honest with you. Because we're, you know, we're in the beginning stages here of trying to establish a relationship, and any good, healthy, successful relationship is built upon a foundation of trust and honesty. And uh, that's that's what I'm shooting for with you. 
I hate these new jerseys that the NFL is here. I probably shouldn't say that in case I ever want to do work for Nike. I love the new jerseys that Nike has issued out for the NFL this year. I think they're incredibly stylish. And, uh, yeah. Let's do something with the numbers. <clears throat> Very inefficient when I'm talking. Whatever, let's maybe focus for that here. Making a new layer for the numbers, just blocking them in. Blocking them in. There's my mom yelling. She's a very sweet lady. I don't need to uh, give her a bad rap. She's really a dear. And uh, I appreciate her quite a bit. And uh, that's really all I have to say about that right now. Hello, Mother! One might say that uh, admitting that I'm living at home with my mother might not be a good business move or strategy, but I just don't care. Maybe people won't take me seriously. But, uh, I don't know. I think... I think it's hilarious. That's more important to me than being taken seriously. And plus, if you, if you meet my mother, you would know that she's just a, a lovely, lovely woman. And, uh, that's about it. But a transitional period here. I have the opportunity to be at home, try and uh, save some money and whatnot. Tough being me. I think that's kind of the uh, the sentiment shared by most of my generation. We're all broke. Nobody has jobs. Or if you do, then whatever. Shut up about it. Doing what I want to do, doing this art thing. I'm gonna be super duper famous, and then I'll have the last laugh, or I won't. Whatever, I don't care. <clears throat> Let's put on something else. I'm sorry if you're not crazy about my music, but I don't care. Maybe I'll turn it down a little bit just in case. Some sweet, dulcet, acoustic guitar tones. Let's put on my boy Donny Hathaway radio. The great Donny Hathaway. Taken from us too soon. Jive logo is going to go here, NFL crest here, and the awesome, neat stripes that come with a awesome Nike uniforms go there. <clears throat> I should mention that I like to constantly flip, 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 flip my work. Uh, I always had a tendency, better or better now, I always had a tendency to kind of draw or paint on a slant or angular, off balance, uh, and it's it's a common problem for artists, and one way to remedy that is by, well, if I was working traditionally, bleh, traditionally on paper, for example, I would hold it up to the light upside down, and that way you can see, you know, the, the reverse image and see if things are wonky. But with Photoshop, I have the ability to press a button and flip the whole thing, which is awesome. <coughs> I also have a... this is cool. I learned this trick from some other artists. They have a vertical flip. I don't really know what the point is, to be honest with you. I can't really make sense of 